Paul Allen's search for knowledge and innovation helped push the boundaries of exploration from the depths of the world's oceans to the fringes of space. Best known as the co-founder of Microsoft, a philanthropist and an entrepreneur in the world of technology, communications, music and sport, he will also be forever recognised for kick-starting the democratisation of space by funding Spaceship One, the first privately developed suborbital human-rated space vehicle. Paul Gardner Allen was a child of the new jet era and an inspired devotee of the dawning space age. Thanks to his father, Kenneth Allen, who worked in the University of Washington Library, he was able to indulge his enthusiasm for aviation technology by poring over aerospace books and magazines. In 2013, Allen told Forbes that I'd spend hours reading about the engines in some of those planes. I was trying to understand how things worked, how things were put together. This interest, ultimately, led to the establishment of his Flying Heritage and Combat Armour Museum, and the ongoing search for lost wartime shipwrecks by the research vessel Petrel, which recently discovered the aircraft carriers USS Lexington and USS Hornet, the latter lost in 1942 and found just last month. Through Vulcan, a company set up after he left Microsoft, Paul Allen funded aircraft designer Bert Rutan and Scaled Composites to develop a revolutionary spacecraft that would compete for the $10 million Ansari X Prize. The contest challenged teams from around the world to build a reliable, privately funded human-rated spaceship capable of carrying three people to 100 kilometres above the Earth's surface twice within two weeks. The joint venture, Mojave Aerospace Ventures, won the prize in October 2004 when Spaceship One climbed to more than 112 kilometres over California. The technology was later licensed by Richard Branson to create Virgin Galactic, while the prize itself helped spark today's booming private space industry into life. Today, Paul Allen's vision of cutting the cost of access to space continues with the development of Stratolaunch, an airborne rocket launch system venture unveiled in 2011. Designed by Bert Rutan and built by Scaled Composites, the six-engine carrier platform has a 385-foot wingspan, making it the world's largest aircraft. The mothership will carry Northrop Grumman Pegasus XL rockets capable of launching over 800-pound payloads to orbit for a single or triple rocket configuration. First launch is set for 2020 and fittingly is set to extend Paul Allen's vision to low Earth orbit and beyond.